So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about structure enhancing. First thing is I want to note what the difference is between core enhancing, which is what we talked about previously, and structure enhancing. Now in core enhancing, the basic thing that we talked about is adding colors, right? How colors can help you with your perception and help also the right side of your hemisphere and repeat some information, some information in the structure enhancing that are going to be repeated from the core enhancing because I want you, a repetition is the only thing that's going to make it really stick to your mind and make you stick with it uh, properly. So core enhancing, when we talked about it, is basically adding uh, colors to uh, the ideas, the branches and the sub branches that we have in order for you to be able to associate them um, in your brain with a certain color and be able to uh, perceive them more easily and store them more easily, right? And I briefly talked about how adding images and information can actually help, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you are saying, okay, but what kind of images? Like, what do you mean images? Do I add just a picture of my niece on the mind map? Is that how it works? What kind of information should I add? This is, this is what we're going to talk about right here in structure enhancing. So images, for instance, if you are writing about, um, let's say, rainforest animals, I'm just going to go throw random animals. I'm not sure what animals live in, live in rainforests, but I'm just going to give some examples. And you want to talk about um, elephants, um, monkeys, and uh, parrots. Instead of putting the main idea as animals in rainforests and putting uh, arrows to uh, and writing elephants, writing parrots, and writing uh, monkeys, what you do is you put arrows and you put images of an elephant, of a monkey, and of a, of a parrot. Now, that might seem, and the first thought that's going to come to your mind is, what's, what's the difference between just writing elephant and putting a picture of an elephant? Well, um, we're going to talk about it when it comes to the memory and recall improvements, but the reason why kids... Uh, the first thing they learn at school is how to visually perceive everything from letters and colors, everything, is because uh, your visual sense is very, very strong. So when, when you put the picture of an elephant instead of writing elephant, your mind will be able to associate this image with a lot more information than, this, than just the word. Um, and this is eventually, this is proven, proven science. Uh, when you you do this you are using the right hemisphere of your brain as we talked about before and we're going to talk about it more later it increases your creativity using the right side of your brain by associating information to images not just colors so images and information we'll talk about more right now about information also about structure so uh, just to recap images add images instead of writing words when you can add images always do that because it's going to help you way more in terms of mind mapping there are a lot of um, um, softwares and tools that you can use to add images to your mind maps uh, such as um, nova mind that you guys can check out um, and of course i'm going to be covering um, how to use canva and how to use um, simple mind plus in this course um, in Canva, you'll be able to know how to use pictures um, and images very easily and effectively with your mind map when we get to it. Uh, but um, another example would be to just add images when it comes to each and every branch um, and, and main idea. So the main idea can be, let's say, fitness. And maybe you want to add uh, a picture. You want to put a dumbbell and write fitness on top of it instead of just writing fitness, giving it uh, an, an image structure will make it easier for you not to just develop it right now when you're writing the mind map, but for you to be able to recall uh, the mind map and improve it better in the long run when you're working on it. And as I said, a lot of you might say, I don't understand how this can be helpful. I can just write fitness. It can be helpful because images trigger the right side of your hemisphere, which associates images with ideas not just words with ideas but images shapes and colors that you've seen throughout your life when you put in a picture of a dumbbell your mind is going to associate and think about all these things related to a dumbbell and you're going to be able to process and get and brainstorm more information uh, way more effectively and as i said this is all proven by science and that's exactly why most people recommend using images in mind maps and of course it's not just images we talked about reusing colors before, um, how colors can also help if you don't want to use images. 
uh, maybe you're using images for the main idea and the branches and you wanna you wanna use uh, color for the sub branches to be able to differentiate between them uh, but we already talked about this in a previous lecture what we want to focus on right now for example is information adding text or keywords if while doing your mind mapping you're doing some research online and you stumble upon a very good topic and you add this topic uh, this idea you, you add it, you add it as a title in a sub branch but then you, you think that you know what like this is something that i might forget about you might as well just write a keyword under it or write a small small text or description or number or letter that you'll be able to use for you to be able to remember what it what it's about or for you to just be able to go back and, and research what it is to be able to know what you actually wanted to use it for using also numbers and letters to be able uh, to, to navigate through your mind map properly uh, if you have a mind map when where you want to work on one thing after the other maybe when you uh, you have the main idea and then you have the branches and then in each branch there is the sub branches but you need to work on the branches one by one you might want to you might want to number or, or put letters on the branches one for the for the first branch that you want to start with two for the second third for the third maybe they're complementary maybe you can't go to number two if you don't finish number one that's where numbers would be helpful that's where letters would be helpful going a b c d e f instead of going a f e d you know uh, putting numbers adding numbers and letters for you to be able to navigate the structure and enhance the structure of your mind map and navigate through it easily uh, can help tremendously and it would make your life easier so if you're using images <clears throat> and then you are using colors for the sub branches and then you are using numbers to differentiate between all of um, all of the different ideas that you have to go through one by one then you have um, a mind map that is very well structured in a flawless way that you can follow through very easily and you're using every single aspect of it in terms of visual processing for it to help you even more in brainstorming and in recalling information and, and in building the mind map itself. So images, of course, are lastly a powerful tool to consume information much more than words and sentences. That's why a kid is taught to understand images and links them to words. And you have this picture of the rainbow right here. Probably when you saw it, you saw this image. Some of you remembered this image from the lecture that was before in the adding colors so basically the core enhancing and it kind of linked up to adding colors to your mind map some of you maybe didn't because well maybe some of you didn't look at the picture or some of you ignored it or whatever but if you did look at the picture and you were aware of it when you were reading and you were listening about me talking about core enhancing and adding colors to it as soon as you see this rainbow you are going to remember that you need to add colors to your mind map to make it a bit more effective. And finally, uh, not just images, something that I wanna add as well in structure enhancing is structures themselves. So um, if one branch is much more important than all the other branches, instead of just putting one arrow from the main idea to this branch, maybe you wanna put three arrows to indicate that this is really important and maybe put two arrows to indicate less important and one arrow to indicate least important. Uh, this is structuring. If you have two branches um, that are linked together, but they are also separated, you might want to put two arrows uh, from the main idea, two arrows for each and every one of them, but then put an arrow between both of them, right? In order for you to know and associate in your brain that these two ideas are linked and at the same time they are separated. So using images and using colors and using information, keywords and structures, arrows, uh, letters, numbers, uh, these will all help you in the mind mapping uh, structure. It will enhance the structure and it will make it way easier for you to write and, and generate the mind map and for you to be able to follow through eventually with the mind map and execute it properly.